Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a 100 plus gameplay using the Diamond M8A7 on the map Infection and some Ground War. Now, this is a pretty good 100 plus. Um, it's not super impressive or anything. This is some safeguard, but I do have a really crazy gameplay coming out later for you guys tonight, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could give me some support on this video. If you guys could leave me some feedback in the middle or whenever you guys feel that it deserves it, you know, leave it a like or a dislike, whatever you guys think this video deserves. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. So let's get right into this commentary. Let me talk a bit about the gameplay and stuff like that. That, and I'm also going to talk about why I have face cam on so let me go over that first of all So why I have face cam on is basically this is not a live commentary Obviously, I'm not playing the game I'm doing a normal commentary here, but I do have face cam is because at the end of this gameplay I was actually nice enough to receive from DX racer, which is a gaming chair company they sent me this Black Ops 3 Beast DX Racer gaming chair. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be reviewing it so you guys can stick around for that. I'd really, you know, appreciate or recommend that you guys stick around because this chair is pretty sweet. And I'm going to be giving you guys an honest review of it, telling you guys if I think it's worth it or not or whatever. But let's go straight into the gameplay, first of all. And then at the end of the, when the gameplay is done, I'll be reviewing the chair. So this gameplay here is obviously 100 plus kills in safeguard. It's not super impressive, but um, 100 plus kills in safeguard is, you know, pretty easily achievable. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably have it as well but my question or what I'm gonna talk about in this gameplay not my question is I'm gonna talk about safeguard and now a lot of people hate safeguard some of my friends always get pissed when I say let's play some safeguard when it ever comes up with ground war they say I don't want to play safeguard I can't get my streak safeguard sucks the spawns are nuts and this is my opinion on safeguard safeguard can either be the worst game mode or the best game mode it all depends on your attitude and sorry if my eyes aren't looking at the camera I'm looking at the gameplay right here because I look at the gameplay when I do my commentaries and that's just basically how it goes you know what I mean I can't really look at the camera look at the gameplay at the same time but safeguard this is how you have fun in safeguard and how you have fun in call of duty in general i guess you could say but mostly safeguard is you got to have the right attitude if you have the attitude that safeguard is going to be a try hard mode that you're going to try and run the big streaks and go for them and stuff like that you are no chance you're going to get those streaks or no chance you're going to have fun in safeguard the attitude that you need to have for safeguard is basically it's only 50 points per kill the spawns are crazy. They could spawn at me at any time if I rush in there. I'm just going to have fun and go for the most kills that I can get and not really care about the deaths. And this is what I usually do in safeguard. And this usually, that rocket went right by my head. This strategy usually manages me to be able to get quite a few kills in safeguard and quite a bit of XP. Now, people, some people believe that, oh, you're only getting 50 points per kill. You don't get that much XP. You actually do get a pretty normal amount of XP. I think you do get 100 points per kill of XP. It's just the 50 points per kill, basically, because they didn't want people to spawn trap and safeguard i mean you guys can obviously understand if it was 100 points per kill people could get their streak so easy and it would be absolutely nuts so here is the i think the last round here i get a nice little triple kill with the scythe this thing is crazy especially on ground war now ground war these i have a few things to say about ground war first of all you guys know my thoughts on safeguard i think it's crazy fun i think it makes the game fast paced and even 6v6 safeguard on like a bigger map like redwood could still be fun for the simple fact that in safeguard you always know where the enemies are and that's a good thing in Call of Duty when you always know where the enemies are you always know where they're pushing you always know where the action is and you can always head to the action and that is another reason why I like safeguard in ground war or in normal now this is these are my complaints with ground war first of all ground war is hidden in the bonus playlist if some of you guys didn't even notice there was ground war in this game it's under bonus playlist right next to chaos mosh pit which generally just means that newbie players are not gonna pick ground war because they're not gonna see it on their playlist the newbie kids are gonna be picking team deathmatch and free-for-all but no ground war and that's whatever you know that's Okay, you can still get some pretty newbie kids in ground war. It's just not like other Call of Duties, but you can still get 100 plus and stuff like that in domination in ground war. But now, ground war it usually always had TDM and domination, and then kill confirm was introduced in MW3, and then it was TDM, domination, and kill confirm. And then basically, now there's safeguard, and now they took out kill confirmed and put in safeguard, which is kind of weird because, in my opinion, I think Ground War would be crazy, by far the best game mode in this game, if they actually took out TDM and put in Kill Confirm Safeguard Domination. That would be absolutely crazy. That would blow my mind if they had all three of those good game modes in this game. I just, I think that would absolutely be amazing. And I think that that would be probably the best thing ever. But I doubt they're going to do that. I know a lot of people do. I don't really know. Do people actually play Ground War for TDM? Because TDM and Ground War seems like it is only up to 100 kills. Even if you go off, you can only get maybe 20 or 30 kills. It's really not that good. And, um... It really des doesn't seem like people would enjoy that overkill confirm safeguard or domination. But those are just my opinions on the game mode. Now, let me talk a bit about this rifle here. The M8A7, baby. This thing, I don't know if I said M8A1 earlier. That's just a habit of mine because in BO2, there was basically the exact same gun in BO2. And it was the M8A1 for you guys, who, those of you guys who don't know. And it was super powerful as well as the M8A7 is in this game. Now, the M8A7 is insanely powerful. I think with the class setup that I have on it right here is going to be the ELO site. I'm going to have... 
as well the elo sight and then i have the rapid fire and the long barrel and the stock those are what i like to run on this gun usually it's freaking crazy i don't have anything like extended mags or fast mags but you really don't need it when you have that elo sight and you have all those attachments it's freaking deadly dude the long barrel the rapid fire works so well together because you're getting off those fast uh burst and they're actually very powerful at range which you especially need on this map and then i have the stock which basically just allows me to out strafe kids and win gunfights a lot easier as you can see that stock does help me in gunfights like it did right there now the m8a7 is a very powerful rifle now my complaint with this gun is it seems like it's so inconsistent sometimes it'll be a one burst and sometimes it'll be a three burst which really makes no sense but it is super powerful probably one of the most powerful things in the game for the simple fact that if a guy's right in front of you, you can just go do 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 and hit him with a one burst which is absolutely incredible and absolutely pretty much overpowered when it does one burst i don't really know why sometimes it takes three bursts i think only a few bullets out of each burst hit sometimes when they're moving or something like that i don't really know that much about the gun but all i know is that this gun if you're looking for an assault rifle to use like on this on a map like this infection what i would recommend using is an icr maybe because an icr is like the acr that thing is a deadly rifle a shiva because the shiva is freaking crazy an m8 or an lmg i actually do have a nuclear on this map i think it's the same sort of situation i think yeah same Safeguard on infection, and I was actually able to get a nuclear. Um, it might have been domination, but I think it was safeguard a nuclear using the BRM light machine, gun, which basically shows you that this map is not an SMG map. If, it, if you are trying to use an SMG map on this map, you really have to get right up in their spawns and go ham. But you can see here right now, I'm at 103 kills. And I just push it on, and I'm able to get 110 kills, which is pretty good. And uh, I was actually pretty impressed with this gameplay. I was just happy that I got the 100. I think I was playing with a buddy at the start, but they rage quit, and then it was just me solo, or it might have just been me solo. But I know I was in a Skype call with my buddies, and I was saying, please let me get the 100. Please let me get the hundo because I like getting those 100 plus gameplays for you guys Hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay if you guys did drop a, a raid on it I really appreciate it if you guys could support this because I have a, one of my best gameplays out tonight Which is gonna be an actual crazy one once again This gameplay is not super impressive or anything like that, but it is a freaking good gameplay I hope you guys will enjoy it So now let me get into the review of this DX racer black ops 3 chair So the people at DX racer or they make basically make gaming chairs office chairs and stuff like that And they were nice enough to send me and a few other youtubers these chairs and let me talk about how I got this there was actually someone who was trying to impersonate me to get free sponsorship sponsorships and stuff like that and they contacted me in twitter dms and says is this you i said that was not me but i'd love to do a free chair for a review so they sent me over one and i've had this chair for maybe a week or two you guys might have seen it in my videos you guys might have seen it on other youtubers some of my youtube buddies have it but i'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts and my honest review of it so what this chair is let me get up and let me move the cam a little bit so that i can uh show you guys so here's the chair it is the Black Ops 3 DX Racer, and it's freaking crazy because it has, you guys can see, obviously, the BL3 colors, the BL3 sort of layout. It's freaking deadly what this thing has on it, and I think it's a really sexy chair. Now, this chair, at first, I was a bit skeptical because I had tried one of my friends of these chairs, and it was, they weren't really that comfy, but that was one of the older models from like maybe like 2010 or 11 or 12, something like that. This newer model is freaking crazy, and it's super comfortable, to be honest, and I'm not just saying that. This is an honest review. I wouldn't say that just to say it you know what i mean there's no point i'm not getting any money to promote this they just gave me the chair but this these this is what i like about the chair so these things are you can move them back and forth you can basically get them up and down whatever to whatever height you want unless you're super tall like six foot four or above this chair should be good for you you guys can see you can uh lean it back however far you want oh my god baby you can actually like you can literally like take a nap in this thing if you guys wanted to try that out. But um, I like to have it just the bat tilted a little bit. And then you guys can see I have the head pillow and then the back pillow right here. Some people don't like the back pillow. I think it's good just to have the back pillow on it and the normal pillow. And that's how I like to rock out on the DX Racer. Now let me talk a bit more about the chair that you guys have seen. Obviously you guys are going to think it's sexy. It's a BO3 chair. Um, these chairs are pretty expensive. I think they range from like 300 to even $400 on their site. So if you guys don't have the funds for that, I don't recommend, you know, spending your money. It is $300, but the chair, uh, is, it's definitely, you're getting your money's worth. But if you guys don't have the money, it's not, you know, it, it's not, you, you know, you guys get what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? If you guys do have the money and you guys are working at your office space, like me, if you guys are YouTubers or something like that, I think this chair would be definitely worth it. Like think about me. I'm probably sitting at my desk for at least 10 hours a day working on videos, especially when I'm doing these two videos a day and having a comfy chair, nothing could really beat that. So for me, it would definitely be worth the 300. But um, 
for someone who um, only plays Call of Duty casually and stuff like that, it really wouldn't be that worth it. Um, this is more of like an office, an office chair, not just a chair for playing games. It's a chair for doing all sorts of things. Um, you know, playing your games, um, watching your movies, stuff like that, if you do it all at the computer. And that's how I recommend this chair. So I'll leave a link down to DX Racer in the description. You guys, even if you guys um, are somewhat interested in buying a chair, you guys can go check them out. They have all sorts of sick designs. Like, I was actually, when I saw this design that they're giving me, the BO3, let me move out of the way there. The BO3, I was like, this is pretty sick, man. And I really wanted one of these. And uh, me and my buddies were pretty happy. I was happy when I saw this thing come in the mail. And I set it up easily within 10, 15 minutes or something like that. So that's just my opinion on this chair. I think it's really good if you guys do have the money. The chair is something that's very important to your setup. So if you guys do have the money, you guys can check them out, decide if you want to buy them. But uh, if you're just a casual gamer, it's really not that not that worth it for you guys. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. Hope you guys did enjoy my review of the DX Racer chair. Um, a long video. If you guys actually did stay for the review until the end, I'd appreciate if you guys could comment potatoes down in the comment section. If you guys actually do comment potatoes, I would be honored to see that you guys stayed till the end. Uh, I know some of you guys will, and I know a lot of you guys are really good supporters of me, so thank you guys so much for that. And to reward you guys, I'm having another video out tonight, and it's going to be a really, really good one. I think you guys will really like it, so drop a like. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later tonight with another upload. Peace out.